everybody, what is going on today? My name is Derek Simmer and welcome to my first ever video. In this video, I am attempting to make a tiny home. I've seen many videos on YouTube about it and playing The Sims for almost a decade. I know, crazy, right? Um, I've always wanted to make a tiny home. I've never known how, but now that I'm starting to like want to get more involved in the Sims community by like branching out, making videos and putting up content and stuff after all this time playing the game, I just wanted to give it a shot. So what better way to start this by making a tiny home? I don't know what the context I was going for, but I just wanted something simple, something cute, something simplistic with also a little elegance in the look. So my thinking with this, go big, go home, with the elegance thing. I kind of want everything to be matchy, but I understand that probably in the end, not all of this is gonna match, and that's probably okay. I mean, I'm still learning, so if it's not the same, then I apologize, but it is what it is, right? Right now, you can just see me messing around with the windows and the door, trying to figure out what works, what doesn't work, and, you know, all that fun stuff. <laughs> so right now, we're putting together the walls inside the house. That little corner, I'm going to make it my bathroom. It might be a bit challenging trying to get the tub or shower and then a toilet and then a sink in there with that little space of like what four cubes three cubes yeah i think it's four by three and on a diagonal angle we'll see how it goes right now i'm trying to figure out how i'm going to do the entertainment center because i like i said go big or go home so my thinking is get a big tv because my sim loves to watch tv just like I do in real life. I love to watch TV. It's nice. It's relaxing. Good way to unwind on a busy day. And that's why I adjusted the height on my tiny home. As for the windows, I still don't know what I want. I want a grand view. Like, not like we're on the ocean front and we want a grand view, but like something simple enough that it lets enough light into the home. Because obviously, with it being a tiny home and with stuff around the house, we're going to have limited space for windows. So that's also why I added a fireplace, because if we can't get enough natural light, we have some kind of light. In a, a different addition from having ceiling lights or floor lights. So right now, my thinking right now is tying off the living room with this half wall. Still kind of mixed about it. Being right next to the bathroom. Like, could I have put it on the other side of the bathroom where it's not gonna hit the door? Probably. But that's where I'm thinking I'm gonna put the bathroom. And next to it will be the bedroom with the trindle bed, if we have trindle beds in the game already. And then a little dining room just off the kitchen. As you can see, I'm trying to put together my kitchen, which will be interesting, because usually I make big kitchens. But again, with this being a tiny home, I don't know how big or small this will be. Because, like I said, I literally make giant kitchens all the time. So, doing a tiny kitchen for a tiny home is definitely different. I don't know if it's different better or different not. But we'll see how it goes. As you can see, I'm trying to figure out how I want to get this layered out and I think it's weird putting a vent under the cabinet if you can see part of the vent and by vent I mean the hood sticking through the cabinet so might be changing that up later if not oh well so it's nice to see that we do have trindle beds I think trindle beds are a space saver I think they are pretty and for this tiny home, I'm really glad to get a trindle bed because it frees up so much space in this home. So, good invention, Sim. Good invention. 
Right now I'm just trying to figure out how I want to put the dining room together. Like, it's not really a dining room, it's just an open corner. And like I said, it's right off the bedroom, so... It's not gonna have a lot of space to work with, but as long as we can get one or two seats in for my sim and a guest, that's all that matters. And back to the thing with the light, putting in a giant fish tank. <laughs> I wanted to add something cute and something fun, and I think that uh, fish for pets is a very cute thing, and it kind of just ties the whole area together, not just by adding some light, but adding some visual, oh, how do I want to word this? Um, just adding something nice, you know? It's nice. So right now... We are tying down together everything out in the main area and now we're gonna work on the bathroom which definitely I'm starting to think that I'm gonna get rid of that diagonal wall and make it a square room where it's three by three or three by four I don't remember exactly how much it is <laughs> but first we're still gonna play with the windows I'm not really having a good time with these windows, mainly because I want them to match, but I don't think it's going to happen, so we're just going to go with whatever I pick. As you can tell, I'm having a hard time making decisions on a lot of things, like right now with the bathroom, shower, toilet, sink, but... Like I said, the diagonal wall is proving to be a challenge. So, I think I'm going to take out that diagonal wall and make it a square. So the room is two by three. Which I think in the long run will work. As long as we just have a toilet and a shower and a sink. I could just not put a sink in there because we have a sink in the kitchen. But... I want the luxury of people being able to wash their hands after they flush while they're in the bathroom, you know? It just makes sense. Same thing with brushing your teeth. You want to brush your teeth in the bathroom, not at the kitchen sink where there's dirty dishes. And that's just weird to me. <laughs> I do like how this is turning out to look. What I don't like is the everlasting struggle of figuring out a window. It is what it is. I think I might go with these windows. That is yet to be seen in full, but we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So, back to the little thing of elegance. I've thought about doing a giant roof, but I want to keep it nice and small. As you can see, it's really giant. So I'm going to go with this different hexagon look roof and lower it. I think it adds height, it adds depth, and I think it adds a cute little look to it. I mean, the siding, I'm not entirely crazy about, but for this one, I'll let it slide because it does the job well in making this home look kind of cozy. I keep saying elegant a lot, and I need to quit saying that for this video. But like, it just looks so good. What I also need to quit is messing with the darn windows. But I think I'm gonna leave it as is. They're close enough. As long as I add a little flower box to each window, it'll be okay. So now, with all that said and done, we get to focus on working on the outside a little bit more. I thought about making this either a concrete pathway, a brick pathway, or I don't know, something to give it a nice little welcome pathway up to the house. But we'll fix that in a little bit. Because right now we're gonna add the itty bitty stuff, the nitty gritty, into the house. So obviously we need a microwave. I don't know if I want it next to the stove or not, so right now we're just gonna put it to the side of the stove. And, ooh, those are low lights. That's, a, if I ever make a tiny home and it's gonna be a two story, Ooh, this might be an idea for a future video. Make a two-story home, tiny home, but have it open with that giant chandelier. Stay tuned. We'll see how that goes. 
Honestly, I'm enjoying myself making this little tiny home video and this tiny home in general. I think it is one of the cutest things I've ever seen. I never thought I could make a tiny home myself after seeing so many content creators on YouTube making tiny homes. That I'm like, there's no way I can do this. So for me to attempt this, it's just mind boggling to me right now. As you can see, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do the path. I think I want to keep it brick like that. It looks like it matches with the steps and the little deck. So with that being said and done, we're going to add some greenery. I thought about going big with the garden, but for this kind of home project, I'm going to keep it simple. So we're just going to add a little, well, without getting rid of the tree. We're adding a little pond. I'm not crazy about how I have this design in mind. But it is what it is. I don't know what else to say. But back to the look of elegance. We are adding a cute little fountain and some gardening plants to it. As soon as I find them, after I'm done checking out everything we have to offer, I think that looks really pretty. I don't know about you guys, but I think that looks really pretty. And we're gonna add some fountains in there just to make it look more pretty. Now look at that. You can't tell me that looks ugly. I mean, granted it could be ugly, but <laughs> I don't know. I think it looks really good, especially now that we're adding the final touches to the home. And yeah, this is my tiny home, number one. It is currently on the gallery at Derek Summer. You can find it there if you ever want to download it. We got a cute little bathroom and a nice little open floor space for the rest of the house. So I thank you guys for watching and let me know in the comments if you want to see good content in the future. Hit that subscribe and I'll see you later.